Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, let's make an apple out of this little terracotta pot. I, get, I think I got it from Michael's. Yeah, got it from Michael's. And here's the little saucer I got. Again, from Michael's. I'll show you the measurements. I think it's like three inches wide at the very um, widest part. And I'll just show you all the measurements. You can do the maths. <laughs> Measuring's hard just like words. Anyways, um, I start by painting each of these red. Now I am using an acrylic paint I got at Dollar Tree and I'll gotta be honest with you, I'm not sure how much of a fan I am. Um, it went on just fine. If it's in a pinch and you don't have anything else, it'll work. It just, I think I'm used to chalk paint and how it goes on so beautifully and there are no streaks and all of the things, but it worked. You might have to do a couple coats, but there it is. Um, I only did the outside. I did not do the inside of the saucer, nor did I do the inside of the terracotta pot, but it worked, right? And I let it dry really well in between layers because this acrylic paint has a habit of like shifting. If it's not dry, it'll like peel kind of when you put the brush strokes over it again. So just be mindful that it's actually dry in between your coats. There we go. And it's such a bright, I loved it because it was such a bright red and that's what I was going for. Now I'm going to use some glossy Mod Podge once that's all dry and I'm going to put the glossy Mod Podge on everywhere we painted because I want it to look like a super shiny red apple. How fun, right? I know. And again, you want to make sure that it really dries before you do the next step that we're going to do. Just again, because we want to make sure that things adhere properly. But yeah, um, the acrylic paint, it actually, things don't slide easily over them either. I, I don't know. I, it could just be user error. <laughs> More times than not with me, it's user error. But just be mindful. I mean, again, it's Dollar Tree paint, so it's a buck. I mean, yeah. And these little terracotta pots were not expensive either. Now I take a pencil, regular old pencil, and I'm going to cut it down to one inch. I did a little bit longer before and it didn't work. So I did one inch and that worked. And there it is. And I sand off if there's any rough pieces. I have a piece of felt. This is just green felt. And I'm going to cut a shape. See how I kind of um, folded it so it's doubled? And I'm just going to cut the shape of a half of a leaf, right? And I had to cut it down just a little bit because it was a little too big for my pencil piece, but there it is. Then I put a little dot of glue at one of the ends and I add my little pencil, bottom, top, whatever, my little one inch pencil piece. And we're going to kind of pinch it around the pencil so it goes around it. Perfect. Ta-da! Then we're going to put a little dot of glue on the bottom and we're going to glue it to our little saucer that we did. Look at it's like the top of an apple. I love it so much. So cute. Is there another way to do this? Probably. Better? Probably still, but I did it this way and I'm not mad. Look at how cute it is. <laughs> and I filled mine with paper clips, but you could fill yours with candies, erasers, money, whatever. The sky's the limit, friends. Look at how cute. This would make an amazing gift or it would make it a great wouldn't it make a great addition to your desk? I'm going to put it on mine. Anyways, friends, thanks so much for watching, and I hope this inspires you.